showing up. My, they look mad. Oh, they probably won't like you now. Yeah, Ashley, that's been the third time this week. What's the deal, Ashley? I, uh, had to take care of my mom. A one, a two, a one, a two, a three. care of my mom. Come on, Ashley. Last time you said you had to take care of your cat. A tasket, a tasket. They're going to blow a gasket. I think my cat might have given what it had to my mom. I think my cat might have given what it had to my mom. Those excuses are lame. Why don't you just admit you're lying? on me because I'm the youngest. Oh, yeah, right, Ashley. Whoa, give her a break, man. Yeah, Ryan, starting an argument isn't gonna help. Bye, 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 bye. Hi, kids. Ooh, ooh. Hi, the man. How's the rehearsal for your youth group going? We're just about ready. Yeah, it's yeah, going good. great. We're good. Well, I was praying and I felt led to come by and encourage you. I'm I'm not sure. But I do know that in Matthew 5, 14 and 16, Jesus said that you are like the light for the whole world. Andy said that you should let that light shine so that people will see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. When you perform tonight, be that light. Okay, good. Yeah.
Good luck. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Whoa, we'd better get going. Yeah, I've got to get home. Yeah, see you at the church. Bye. Yeah, see you. I guess I'm sorry for what I said. That's okay. Hang on a minute. I kind of have a lot to do, so I thought maybe you could help me out. I guess so. Um, could you be responsible for bringing half the music? Half? Well, yeah, that way we could, you know, kind of be a team. Sure. Cool. See you there. See ya. Ooh, Fibbler, you are good. Oh, really, I can't take all the praise. The master's gonna love you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Terrific job, gang. Thanks, hey, listen, the um, audio technician needs the other music cassette for the show. My, we did boo-boo this time, didn't we? Quick, think of something quick. Ryan, have you got the tape? And Ashley, give me the music. What are you talking about, Ryan? It's your responsibility. Now. Say it now. What? I gave the music to you! You did not! You're just picking on me again! She's lying! What are you talking what about? What do you mean? Right. Who's that? All right, it's enough! Now we'll straighten this out later. I'm going to go dismiss the congregation. When I come back, I want an explanation. Um, I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but there has been a problem with the second portion of our youth group presentation, and um, I'm afraid we're going to have to reschedule. You realize, of course, that this is all your fault. Oh, your fault. Come on. Oh, Smith. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Yes, we'll, we'll let you know. Everybody had a good show? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Sure. How are you? Great. Good. Whoops. We don't look very cheery now, do we? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye, kids. of your foul personality, and I know who sent you. Aren't we cute? No, well. You have no authority over me, Bible Man! Perhaps not, but I know one who does. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no! I command you. Hey, Bible man! Bible man! Pastor Greg says he needs your help. Ashley quit the group, and this whole thing's a huge mess. Okay, Nikki. Tell Pastor Greg that I'll be right there. Now run along. You're going to give yourself away, and I'm going to be there when you do. Got a point there. You shouldn't have been so rough on her, Ryan. Nikki does have a point. Hey, I'm the one that got blamed, remember? Ooh, now he's the one with the point. It doesn't matter who said what right now. The real point is that Ashley's our friend. And we have to find a way to let her know that. You got a point there. Hey, you guys better get going. You're gonna be late. Bye, Bye Cal. Uh, Nikki, come here a minute. Is everything okay with you guys? No, it's not, Mr. Peterson. Oh. Well, I'm sure everything will work out for the best. I don't know. No, I'm sure it will. Go on, get to class now. I should.
feeling a bit discouraged? I guess you already know what's been going on. You always do. <laughs> we'll call it a gift. You're in good company, you know. What do you mean? Well, the Bible tells me that you are just like the Apostle Paul. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. Romans 7, 15. Uh, no offense, Bubble Man, but, but I'm just a kid. <laughs> okay, maybe this will be better. I don't understand why I act the way that I do. I don't do what I know is right. I do what I hate. Boy, you can say that again. Well, are you ready for the good news? Yeah. Paul goes on to say, thank God that Jesus Christ will rescue me. Romans 7.25 But I keep on messing up. Why would Jesus want to rescue me? The Bible teaches us, Ashley, that above all else, God loves us. And in 1 John 1, 9, it says that if we confess our sins to God, He can always be trusted to forgive us and to take our sins away. And I know some other people that would like to forgive you too, if you let them. But, but I'm so embarrassed. What would I say? You just be honest, Ashley. Your friends love you. And because they love you, they'll understand. Come on. What a sad-looking group of kitties. Hardly a glimmer of joy in the place. Perfect. One down, four to go. Hi. Hey. I wanted you to know that I'm sorry for all the trouble that I've caused. And I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want me around anymore. I'm glad you're back, Ashley. Yeah, and I don't have to be the smallest. What? I get the picture. What's this? We're all glad you're here, Ashley. I was afraid you wouldn't want me to be part of the group anymore. So I lied. And once I started, I couldn't stop. I'm really sorry, Ryan. Oh, that's okay. Just next time, talk to us first, will ya? No. No, 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 no! They hate you now! Boy, there won't be a next time. Well, let's <laughs> reverse. Great. I don't want to go through that again. Oh, yeah. no. That's what you think, my little liar. But I'll teach you soon enough. You'll do nothing of the sort, Fiddler. The only thing more foul than you and your lies is the one who sent you. Bagelman! You didn't think I really meant that, did you? I was just joking! Proverbs 13.5 says that a good man hates deceit. And right now, I feel very good. I'll bet you do. But not so long! I believe it's time for a memory verse. I'm more than willing to fight you. I can split you by the time. Willingness and stupidity don't go well together. Proverbs 19, two. Not the memory verse I had in mind, though. Shut up and fight me yourself! Saying foolish things is like setting a trap to destroy yourself. Proverbs 18, seven. Great verse. Still, not the one I had in mind. You're cheating. You're nothing without the Bible. Well, that's the first nice thing you've said to me all evening. Oh, yes. 
I remember. Proverbs 19.4. <laughs> It's Proverbs 19. Proverbs 19.4. Dishonest witnesses and liars will not escape punishment. Better work on those memory verses more often. First John 1 9 says that if we confess our sins to God, He can always be trusted to forgive us and take our sins away because God forgives us. We should also be willing to forgive one another in the family of God. That's what this next song is about. Thanks for allowing me to be a willing vessel, Lord. I love you, Lord. Mm -hmm. 